Today we're gonna be talking about 10 things pro zombie players do, aka 10 things smart players do in you know what, Call of Duty Zombies. And this is episode number 4 and we're joined by the zombies god himself, you guessed it, Carlos. And my goodness, some of you are crazy good. I always have fun making these videos and I wanna say never hesitate to drop your ideas and opinions in the comments below. And especially for this series, drop your comments on what you see pro players doing for episode number 5 after you finish watching this video and make sure it's not something I have in the previous episodes just because it makes my life easier and hey if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and let me know that too in the comments so I can put you in my next video but coming in at our number 10 spot ladies and gentlemen this one is coming from my boy take the cell now he mentioned bunch of things that I'm gonna get to in like the, the future episodes and shit like that but I'm only gonna mention the first one he says good players stay in area 51 and get juggernaut and speed cola now this is like that mic drop moment but hey you know what i'm not gonna drop mic i'm not gonna end this early fun fact about carlos now i don't want to disappoint any of you this early but hey this is a fun fact about carlos and you guys are like someone very important i i gotta say this all right i gotta let it go but fun fact about carlos he always likes to listen to ice JJ Fish prior to actually getting in his game like what I was legit shocked But as long as he can play the game properly, I mean that's what matters at the end, right? Low-key I'm triggered, but hey, I'm gonna bury my emotions for this one And I'm gonna let this slip like nothing ever happened, but hey I quickly want to say Carlos will make sure he actually get uh, that Juggernaut or Speed Cola in Area 51. And if he sees like Speed Cola, hey, you better believe he will restart the shit out of Moon Remaster or Moon. It doesn't matter. He will restart the shit out of it. He will make sure that he actually get Juggernaut before he teleports to the Moon because this is something very important. Because if he doesn't, well, he actually heard Ice JJ Fish, so that's gonna go in the shithole. And he don't like that. He likes listening to Ice JJ Fish prior to actually getting in his game and but coming in at our number 9 spot now this one is coming from my boy once again but this time it's Kenneth and this one is gonna make you think alright it's gonna make you think he says a good player will also inform everyone else that he's about to pop three fire cells in a short time very important and I wanna say like talk about two-sided people right this is the same guy who once said, I always use profit sharing when playing solo cause then I can share the points with myself instead of giving points to others. This talk about two-sided people. Ladies and gentlemen, my boy Kenneth. But hey, we're talking about 10 things Carlos do, aka pro players do, smart players do, you know what I'm saying, right? So for this one, I'm gonna let it slip. So Carlos always likes to actually communicate with his fam, right? Or with his homies, doesn't matter, he likes to communicate. Uh, so if he sees a, a drop of fire Seal, that's another story but if he actually has that emulation liquidation gobble gum and if he knows he can pop three fire cell in a short amount of time he will make sure he communicate he will make sure guys uh, go to your location uh, I'm about to pop three fire sales shit gonna get real go to your location right now but coming in at our number eight spot now I got my boy ninja boy who says one thing a good player does in uh, SOE is basically uh, in shadows of evil he will go outside the spawn room to actually get 500 points Easter egg and trust me Carlos don't like to let that shit behind all right it's very important for him because if he actually left that shit behind it's like him saying I'm gonna left my money on the table and he no likey that he doesn't like doing that he will make sure he do that mini Easter egg doesn't matter if he's on round 100 and he forgot to actually do that on round one let's be real he won't he will get that shit on round one as soon as he gets in shadows of evil you better believe the first thing he's gonna do he's gonna buy that door he's gonna make sure the door is open and everything like that and he's gonna make sure he's ready to just go and as soon as he's gonna go he's gonna cook that grenade real good but not too good because he don't like to explode himself and go down on run one and turn into a meme he don't like that he don't like that so he will cook that grenade real good but not too good like I said he will throw that shit um, um, he will press square or hold square he will hold that B and he will get that 500 points like he has never got anything before but coming in at our number seven spot now I got one of my my boy again who I don't know but hey it doesn't matter right he his username is basically DXmon DSR who's uh, DSR one of my favorite gun by the way but he says pro players will try to roll a Phoenix up or near that experience while their partner is down so they could keep their perks now guys Carlos 
Uh, what, what can I say, right? Carlos is a good, kind-hearted person. He's a professional. He's a smart player. Um, 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 he's a very smart player. But seriously, Carlos will always make sure he got a Phoenix up or near that experience. He will make sure he got near that experience more than anything because if he's actually doing Easter eggs with his uh, homies or with randoms, he will never, he will try to stay away from playing with randoms. But let's say he is playing with his homies and one of them is like Bob, right? So he's gonna make sure he roll that just because like if they go down he don't want any hassle so he will make sure he revive them with the near death experience especially in a boss fight on revelation or maybe in shadows of evil maybe in zatsubuna shima go that crow you get the idea he is very smart but coming in at our number six spot ladies and gentlemen i got my boy mike now mike knows what's up i like carlos knows this years ago but Mike know this very important now Mike says pro players don't use the Reagan for high rounds They use wonder weapons and double pack punch SMG off of the wall with dead wire very important And I told you Mike knows what's up Mike got game. That's all I can say from uh, Reading his comments but Carlos you already know Carlos got crazy amount of game He knows what to do. He will as soon as he get that Reagan. He's just like eh, I'm gonna try and get that Reagan mark 2 or hey Reagan mark 4 right that's gonna be something in black 4 mark my words that's gonna be something so he will make sure he get a wonder weapon maybe a pot can servant if he's playing shadows of evil um um kd4 no 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 he he ain't gonna get that but if he's playing gora Krovi, of course he will make sure he got that reagan mark 3 if he's playing origins he will make sure he got that uh good good uh fire staff or frozen water staff you know what i'm saying you know how it is he will make sure he get that and something off of the wall like a smg because he knows if he have that he will be able to run faster uh you know how that goes he got game he will make sure he got dead wire on top as well shit is real EF but coming in at our number five spot now before we jump in on that shit I quickly want to say this if I had a million dollar I wouldn't give it to him but at the same time all I want to say he is super right so his username is basically weaponized Oreo and I, I, I want to say man Oreo oh, absolutely love those cookies but hey he says something smart players do is don't take double points when there is hardly any zombies left in the round he will wait till the next Next run and take it when it's about to go so he can kill the most amount of zombies PS love you dude and I want to say hey love you too man but at the same time you know how that shit goes right Carlos got game Carlos will make sure that he doesn't take the double points drop especially when there's only one zombie alive or let's say he just killed the last zombie and hey surprise surprise the next thing he sees it's a double point drop now if Bob was playing this thing called Call of Duty zombies he loves those flashy flashy drops right if he were to see those he will be like no I'm not gonna wait anymore I'm just gonna take it right now but Carlos knows what's up he got game he will make sure he don't take any of the drops he will make sure that he takes it whenever they're about to disappear so he actually uh, give him that vagal room ride he want to make sure the next round starts ASAP and as soon as the next round starts and as soon as he sees that drop is about to disappear he will get that mofo and he will get back to work and hey I want to quickly correlate this thing with number five now coming in at our number four spot we have hero sub one two super sub one two absolutely love his name now he actually uh, gave me bunch of stuff which uh, which gonna go down in the future episode like don't worry I got you my neba but he says smart players don't kill themselves trying to get a power up and that's it that's all that's what I'm saying life advice 101 call of duty zombies advice 101 everything 101 shits crazy Carlos got game now Carlos Carlos will always make sure he doesn't kill himself or doesn't go down while trying to actually get a power up. It's very important to him because if he goes down because of seeing a power up, right? Like that's like equivalent of dropping a hammer on top of your forehead, right? Like he ain't gonna do that. But coming in at our number three spot now, I got Commando 17. Very important. Commando 17, he knows what's up. And he says pro players never make their wonder weapon their third gun, aka they will make sure the wonder weapon is not a mule kick weapon. Happen because hey if Carlos goes down while he got a wonder weapon on his third slot right that's an equivalent of dropping like two three hammers on top of your forehead I'm not sure if that's uh, equivalent of like two three hammers but but you get the idea right that's an equivalent of dropping two or three hammers on top of your forehead and Carlos no likey that he will make sure that a wonder weapon like doesn't matter what it is if it's an apothecary servant if it's a eye stab he will make sure that actually stays on his prime 
primary or that's a primary gun or primary wonder weapon or secondary but that's never gonna be his third weapon it's very important to carlos because carlos have actually listened to my boy or he's not my boy but hey for the sake of this video i'm gonna say icejj fish is my boy i'm trigger af but hey you don't want to get me started but hey he has listened to icejj fish so i mean he don't want anything to go down in his shithole but coming in at our number two spot now real quick i want to say this i wasn't meant to dislike this comment i meant to love his comment which i did and somehow i accidentally clicked the wrong button so i'm just saying i am a gamer if you're listening i i I still love you my dude, but hey, he says smart or pro players will make sure they care or I mean uh, They make sure they will have quick revive before getting all the other perks and shit is crazy Or I mean he is crazy, right? Let's let, I'm gonna give him that right Carlos will make sure if he's playing solo He will get quick revive before buying any other gun and sometimes or more often than not before even the round start He will go ahead. He will go pro and get that quick little hundo. That's like uh, another one you know what I'm saying? He will get that and as soon as he get those points, he will buy quick revive. It's very important because hey, if he doesn't get that and if he goes down, the game will be over and that's like an equivalent of dropping like five or ten hammers on top of his forehead and he will never do that because he knows if he goes down let's say he has done all of the easter egg setup or just a high run setup and right after he got everything he wants or everything he needs if he goes down right after that then that's just like not good right like that's just not good so he's gonna make sure he got quick revive because sometimes what happened is that carlos yeah even carlos goes down on round 10 i wasn't supposed to say that but i guess now you know a little bit more about my neighbor carlos but you know what i always like to hit you guys up with a banger and it's no different coming in at our number one spot now i got my boy by the name of yeah boy bandit who says, okay, one thing that pros do. Well, I mean, they don't need to buy the box until round 10. And guys, you know what I'm saying, Illuminati confirmed, say whatever. Check out some other videos on the screen if you have missed any of them. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Smash a like if you did enjoy this video. And let me know one thing for episode number five in the comments. And I'll see you very freaking soon.